Hey guys, I hope you love DC's new Stargirl as much as I do, because in today's episode, we're going to learn more about the cast. At the end of this, we're going to be like, good night. First up is the title character, Stargirl, aka Courtney Whitmore. Playing this role is the phenomenal Breck Basinger, born May 25th, 1999 in Saginaw, Texas, which makes her 22. Wow, she looks super mature here. So Breck has been committed to her longtime boyfriend Dylan Summerall for four years already. He's also an actor and they are still very much in love. Check out Dylan's Valentine's Day Instagram post. Grateful I get to once again call you my Valentine. I love you. Oh, so sweet. And if you wonder, this is how the magic is happening. Green suit guy, shiny stick, very funny. Look at the queen. That's me, Stark. Oh, <laughs> Next up is Rick Tyler, secret identity, our man. Rick is played by Cameron Gelman, who was born on October 10th, 1998 in Clayton, Missouri, also 22. Cameron is single and very busy with work, but I'm sure it won't last long after the success of the show. You see any possible Rick romances in next season? Rick and Grundy, man. I think yeah. that's gonna get weird. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting fact about him and Breck, age is not the only thing they have in common. They're both type one diabetics, and both are ambassadors of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. I'm a, an ambassador for them, and she is as well, but we've never met each other. Them getting to see not one, but two type 1 diabetics, you know, kicking butt on screen, that did give way to a really cool friendship. Another cast member that Cameron is close to is Hunter Sanson. Just listen. He and I are from the same hometown. We've both been in LA six years, and we were in the same exact rooms, testing for the same stuff, but never met each other. And then we book the show at the same time. We get announced together, and it's like the St. Louis boys coming up. Then comes Pat Dugan slash Stripesy, played by the one and only Luke Cunningham Wilson, born September 21st, 1971 in Dallas, Texas. The 49-year-old Texan doesn't appear to be dating anyone at the moment. Luke has also never been married, despite having dated plenty of stars over the years, the last one being Meg Simpson. I love that you have come dressed as Stripesy today, Luke. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I didn't even think that, yes. Fun fact, his brother is the equally famous and talented Owen Wilson, who you might have seen most recently in Loki. Next is Stargirl's mom, Barbara Whitmore non-superhero yet, played by Amy Lyle Smart, born March 26, 1976, in Topanga, California, aged 45. Amy has been happily married to Carter Oosterhouse since 2011. Check out this caption from Amy. Best one night getaway with this one celebrating nine years. Aw, counting my lucky stars. Oh, what a perfect couple. They also have a cute four-year-old daughter named Flora. And fun fact about Amy, she's a vegan and very eco-friendly with a special passion for healthy cooking. And eco tip of today is eat your veggies. Yes, I sound like your parents, but it's really true. Can't agree more. Next, we have Pat's son, Mike Dugan. Very funny character played by Trey Romano. Born on May 2nd, 2005 in Atlanta, Georgia. He sure grew up a lot, but still only 16 years old. Currently single and has a lot of time for dating. Meanwhile, meet his older sister, Sophia. So today I'm here with Sophia, my sister, and we, I'm, I'm gonna do our makeup. I have to say, this kid has a lot of comedic talent and I'm not the only one who thinks that. So his comedic chops and his timing, it improved every single episode. Then we have Henry King Jr., alias Brainwave Jr., portrayed by Jake Austin Walker, born June 24th, 1997 in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Unrecognizable as a kid, now he's 24 and in a long-term relationship with Alexis Arnold. These guys have already been together for four years. Check out this birthday post. Mia Moore. Every minute you grow in beauty, not even the deepest sunsets nor the brightest moons could compare to you. 
Cheers to 21 and the many more to come. Thank you for all you teach me. Oh, super sweet. What was that? Did you get that on camera? Well, wait, Ew. what'd you say? What'd you say? Um, you're ugly. Fun fact, Jake is also a pro singer and he's always the first up for open mic. The whole cast is very musically talented, to be honest. Huge suckers for karaoke. Jake, can I uh, see your, your toes? Oh, these guys? Yep. My little piggies? <laughs> these red, red, they're, red these are fire. Red. Next member of JSA is Beth Chapel, AKA Dr. Midnight. This character is portrayed by Angelica Washington, who was born on May 15, 1998 in Bakersfield, California. Age 23 and a big difference compared with her character, don't you think? Anyway, Angelica's not dating anyone at the moment, but she's pretty close with the rest of her co-stars, especially Yvette and Meg. I love you. Oh my god, guys. She's wearing the bracelet I got her. Fun fact, she had a small role in another superhero show, Marvel's Runaways. So there you go. Now we have Yolanda Montez, Wildcat by Night, played by Yvette Montreal. Born July 9th, 1992 in Los Angeles, California. Okay, she's way older than I thought. So she plays a high schooler at 29? She has a really youthful look and reminds me of Selena Gomez. What do you guys think? Ooh, curly, curly. <laughs> Anyhow, Yvette prefers to keep her dating life far from public eyes. She was once rumored to be dating Greg Silken back in 2015, but it was never confirmed. I think it's safe to assume she's currently single. Now, what we know for sure is she and Breck are real life best friends. She's my best friend. You mess with her, you mess with me. You mess with me, you mess with her. You mess with us, you better pray and run. And they celebrated Breck's 22nd birthday this year with a trip to Vegas. Very cool. Oh, you're too kind, Mom. Oh, Stalker, I love you. I love Next, we have Star Girl's arch nemesis, Cindy Berman, alias Shiv. In this role, Margaret DeLacy Kelly, born July 9th, 1996, in Los Angeles, California. I have to say, she's really good at being bad. Meg is also single and ready to mingle. She used to date actor David Lambert. They were in love for two years, but it ended in December 2019. Still, they didn't delete their Instagram pics, so it may just be a very long separation. Ooh, that's the lady. Yeah. Oh yeah, and these two are very close. I know I've said it many times, but they really are. My girlfriend is leaving me. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Love you. Bye. 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 Fun fact, Meg is also a singer. Her newest single is titled Love Me Like That, and you can find it on YouTube. Next up, Jordan McKent, alias Icicle, played by the amazing Neil Jackson. He's literally the coolest. Neil was born March 5th, 1976 in Luton in the United Kingdom. He's 45 and seems to be currently single. His last public romantic relationship was with the famous survival expert and stunt performer Kylie Furneaux. What he said. So what kind of guy is he? Well, he's not that bad in real life, although he really is tough. You know the type. Athletic, martial artist, swims in cold water. <sighs> oh, that is cold. Surprisingly, he's also a singer. And now, Cameron McKett, Icicle Jr., played by Hunter Sanso. Born December 2nd, 1993, in St. Louis, Missouri. Age 27. So, all the cast are a bit older than their characters. Anyway, it's hard to believe, but this handsome fellow is single. He reportedly had a short fling with Cinta Keel in 2017, but nothing more is known since. Oh, I'm just reading reviews on Superman and Lois. What are you guys up to? Oh, Trey! <laughs> <Hey. laughs> oh, Superman and Lois. Speaking of barn boys, 
Hunter was raised on a farm. My parents got divorced when I was real little, so my dad was on the farm and my mom was in town, so I kind of got the best of both worlds. Cool. I know he still spends time there now as well, spending time off with their dogs and horses. Okay, bonus. If you ever wondered what the Dragon King looks like in real life, voila. Nelson Lee with his girlfriend. Also, good news for the fans, me included, Stargirl just got renewed for a third season. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you liked this video. Please comment and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.